What's up guys, it's Ivan. So in our previous video, we've created our first campaign, our first ad group, and our first ad in Google Ads. In this video, now we need to create more campaigns and we need to create more ads so we can split test, all right? So we can see which ads do better, which campaigns do better, because assuming we have absolutely no data on our product, on our product demographics, on what age group, what gender, what location is more is, is most apt to buy our product, assuming we have no information on that, we need to generate it. We need to get that information and we need to compare and see which one does the best, right? Now, the way we do that is with conversions. So we do need to set up conversions and I will do that in the next video. Uh, but for now, let's let's just actually create those ads and so we have something to start with okay so what I'm going to do um, so we have this campaign that we first created this was a US slash Canada campaign now the status of the ad is still under review it, it, it will probably be disapproved because our landing page is just a testing landing page right our landing page is this where we've done a ton of a ton of stuff but the point of this video is not to get our ad approved is to show you what the process would be so um now that we have that uh so let's let's expand so this campaign is for us and canada so let's create another campaign because we can't separate location by ad group right if we go here we need to change campaign settings so let's um let's create a different campaign and set every country except US and Canada. And then we'll compare and see which one does better. And then later on, we'll actually delve into deeper and see which countries out of those are actually the ones that get us the most results. So what I'm going to do is I don't need to actually create an entire other campaign. What I can do is actually something really simple. And I'll show you what this is I'm going to do. So instead of saying new campaign, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, I'm going to check mark there. I'm going to click edit and I'm going to say copy or control C. Now what I'm going to do is control V or paste. Let's say paste. And now we should have an entirely different campaign. Okay. So something really cool. So there you go. It says number two. So let's rename this one. Let's name it. Uh, instead of US and Canada, let's say, I don't know, not US can, right? Anything other than that, let's click save. So now we have these two different campaigns. Um, so we have the exact same ad group, we have the exact same ads for both of them, which is fine because we're split this and we need to figure it out. So first thing we need to do though is to change the location, right? So at the top here of not US Canada, I'm going to click edit and I'm going to change the location. So instead of Canada and US included, I'm going to remove them. And I'm going to say Canada exclude United States exclude. Okay. And I'm going to click save. And then over here, I need to click people in my excluded location, right? So that we exclude the people that live there, not the people that are searching for that location, right? Uh, we need to include people that actually live there. So I'm going to change that as well. So we've done that. So now we need to create different ad groups and different ads. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to use this keyword planner tool, which you can use as well. If you just go to tools and you go on keyword planner, that's exactly what I have here. And let's create some ad groups. So ad groups are differentiated based on really mainly based on their keywords. Okay. So in this ad group, our keywords are, you know, some basic diabetes. So let's let's actually split this up. Um, let's say that this campaign or this ad group, let's make this actually diabetes loophole only. Okay. Let's make that diabetes loophole only. So this will only involve words uh, that have something to do with diabetes loopholes. So I'm going to remove those ones. Okay, diabetes loophole, that's fine. So they, these revolve around that. Uh, for match types, I'm going to actually say phrase, and I'll and I'll and I'll go over match types with you in a later video. Uh, but but for now, I'm just going to keep it at that. So just say phrase for now. Okay. Uh, so phrase match. Make sure it's on that. 
Uh, and let's, let me see. Okay, so perfect. So now we have that. Okay, so let me just do the same thing here. I'm just going to delete that. And I'll make these phrase. Okay, so uh, let's go to this keyword planner tool and kind of see what what people are searching for. So if I type in So normally, what you I, ideally we should put in one ad group, one ad per ad group, or not one ad, one keyword per ad group, right? And that keyword should be really high performing so that it boosts our entire quality score, uh, and our ad is shown more often. Um, so, of course, we can't do that now because we have absolutely no research. So we need to find that research first. So I'm looking at here. I typed in diabetes loophole, and it looks like there's there's quite a bit of oh no. It's only 100 to 1,000 monthly searches, so it's actually really low uh, amount of monthly searches for this product. Um, so, I mean, that's fine because there are people that are looking for our product that are willing to buy already, right? So let's just see here. Let's let's add some more. Let's 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 make another ad group saying just diabetes. Let's see. So this one's much larger. This one's about one to ten million. Okay, it's huge, and of course the bid is eighty-eight cents. Uh, so let's just add this to our plan. So I'm gonna click this button here. I'm gonna add that. Let's see what else. Maybe type two diabetes. Maybe diabetes diet. Maybe I have no idea what that means, right? I, I don't know anything about diabetes. Once again, uh, but I'm just gonna pretend like I do, and I'm just gonna add all these in there. So maybe do something like that. And then what we can do is we can actually say, let me see, this was saved to account. And we can add it to an ad group, right? Um, so add as a new ad group. And we can add it to, let's see, let's add it to this one and then we'll just copy. So we'll do that. Let's make our default bid, you know, over there it's at about a dollar. So let's make it a dollar. Let's click save and continue. So now it's going to automatically create that ad group, right, of all these other additional words. So that's fine. So if we go back here, we should see it in one of those. Wherever we post it, I don't remember, but we're going to copy paste anyway. So here, right? It's right there with all these keywords. So let's name this ad group, you know, let's, let's name it all diabetes keywords, right? Let's name save. On a, I think our ad. Okay, yeah, so there's no ad there yet. Yeah, that's under review. Okay, so that's fine. Okay, so normally what you would do is maybe make several more ad groups. Maybe, you know, this one's diabetes loophole, another one is only diabetes, another one is only people who are looking to buy for diabetes, right? Something like that. So you can do that just to use this tool and kind of see what's related to your topic, just like what we did here, and then you can add it, okay? And then if you want to add it to that campaign, what you would do is the exact same thing. So we would go into all diabetes. This is ad group. Let me see. Uh, let me go back to all campaigns. Go to this campaign, and we have ad groups, okay? So we have these two ad groups. So let me just copy this ad group and paste it into the other one as well. So this one was old diabetes. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to paste it here. So now we have these two different ad groups in the two different campaigns. So we can see which, which one will do better, right? Which keywords will do better for us. Now what we can do is we can create different ads. So we can go into ad section. And again, it says we didn't create any ads. Okay, so let me go into this one in particular. Okay, so old diabetes, we did it. Okay, so we're just gonna create some ads here and then we're gonna copy paste it everywhere as well. Okay, so something very simple. So what I'm going to do in this, in this ad group where we've already created ads, I'm going to click this button here. I'm gonna say copy and edit. And now we can we can change some things up. So maybe, um, we can say $20 off now and you can click save and there you go. So now you have two different ads. So let's, let, let's do something else. Let's say, um, diabetes loophole, just 
$27, right? And you can do this as many times as you want to. Let's do something else here. Uh, let's say instead of $20, maybe let's say, you know, whatever it is, 45% off now, right? And see which one does better. Okay, so now we have these four, right? So let's copy all of those. I'm going to say copy. Let's go into this campaign and let's paste them all here. If it exists, create a duplicate. That's fine. We're going to go here and we're going to paste those same ads here. And let's go here and let's do the same thing. And we'll create a duplicate. That's fine. So let's just uh, the duplicate should be here at the end. Let's just delete the duplicate because we don't want two of the same ones, right? Or no, it's the same. Uh, I think no, I found the culprit. Here it is. Get a 20% discount now. Okay. So let me just delete that one. Okay. So that's fine. And we can say all enabled. Okay, and that's just going to show us only the ones that are actually active that aren't removed. Okay, so there you go. So now we have four different ads in our ad groups, and we have two different campaigns, and we can actually test out and see what's going on. Okay, so here's our, we should have eight. That is eight in this campaign, and we should have eight in this campaign, and we do. Perfect. So what we should look at is the clicks and the impressions um, and the conversions. Now, actually, I think I have... It's from my personal uh, from my personal Google AdWords account. I think I still have the um, all these columns here, but you may need to set those up, and I will show you how to do that. Okay, um, and I'll make sure to show you how to do that in the next video. Uh, but here is how you have your 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 split testing. So now all we need to do is we need to observe and see how this goes. Okay. All right. And one more thing I forgot to mention. Uh, we do need to go back into all of our campaigns. We need to go to settings. We need to scroll all the way down to the bottom and go to this ad delivery ad rotation. So that's going to be in your advanced settings. All right. And then we need to click on ad rotation. We need to click on edit. And we need to either select rotate evenly or rotate indefinitely. Uh, either one's fine. Uh, if an ad doesn't work, we're going to correct it definitely within the 90-day period. Okay, so this will ensure that our ads are rotated evenly. Otherwise, Google will automatically rotate your ads based on which ad gets the most clicks. We don't want that. We need the highest conversions, okay? So make sure we say rotate indefinitely or evenly. To be safe, let's say indefinitely. And then we'll go back and we'll change it as we see fit, right? And let's go to our other campaign, scroll all the way to the bottom, add delivery rotation again. We're going to click edit and click on rotate in definitely. All right. So thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave it a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you've already subscribed. Thank you. I do appreciate it. And I will see you guys in the next video.